Hello there, beautiful people of the interwebs. Leah here, Doers Nation, and I cannot believe that I haven't talked on this topic yet. But have you guys noticed inflation happening right before your eyes? Yeah, things are getting expensive and it's harder and harder to live on a budget. But there are a lot of people that know who I am and I ball on a budget. I try to spend as little money as possible to get the largest results. And why spend more when you can spend less? I also know that it's much harder to eat healthy cheap than it is to eat poorly cheap. See, it's so easy to fall into the trap of ramen noodles and peanut butter and jelly to try to keep that budget down. But unfortunately, that doesn't really include anything with nutrition. So I'm going to teach you the three P's of healthy eating. And not only healthy eating, but also healthy eating on a budget. I prepared this for you guys today. And the three P's of healthy eating are to plan, purchase, and prepare. And I prepared for you three different meal choices. Each of these are going to create four meal preps for you. And I even broke down the cost for each of the recipes and how much it costs for each one of these meals. Now, the great news for you is that a little bit of preparation is going to save you a whole lot of money. I know how hard you work for your money. I know how hard I work for my money. So let's keep some of it and we can even be healthy along the way. I know, I was pretty excited too when I found these things out. Even one of these meals costs as little as $1.50 a meal and it's not a McChicken. So that's really, really cool. And not only is it not a McChicken, but it is a Power Bowl. So that means it's actually packed with tons of nutritional elements. And you know what? I know that your body is worth it. And I wanna show you how you can do all of these things for three meals. Ooh, this is number four. This is number three. So these three meals, <laughs> You can work on them all simultaneously. So you don't have to prep all three separately. Let's just do it together. I like to eat food. So we are gonna do this together. Let's get started. We have completed the first P of the three P's of healthy eating, and that is preparation. Now we need to purchase. If you knew you could get the same groceries, but for a lesser cost, would you? Of course. So all you have to do is research. Research the local grocer in your area that provides discount and bulk bump and dent food. It's really quite amazing what you'll find and how cheap you'll find it if you just look. But speaking of looking, it is important at these type of grocery stores to look at the dates. Not all of the things that I'm purchasing today are for the recipes that we're about to make, but there are some things that you just can't pass up. Yes, those are Starbucks coffee beans for $2.99. Yay, they even had the white beans that we needed. Chicken breasts are the perfect things to have on hand, especially for meal prep. And all of this, $63. I guess I should probably tell you the three meals that we're making today. We are going to make a spinach and white bean power bowl. Yum. I also got ingredients to make chicken and vegetables, but I happen to have some pork chops that my parents recently won at a gun club and they just butchered a whole pig. So they didn't really need these and they handed them over to me. 
These were free 99 and the chicken that I got was frozen. So I have one of those bags thawing for future meals and a bag frozen for future meals and I figured I would use what was already thawing in the fridge. So it's actually going to be pork chops, sweet potatoes and Brussels sprouts. Delicious. And the last thing that we're going to have is Cajun sausage and vegetables. And I substituted in a sweet Italian sausage instead of andouille sausage since they did not have it at the store. And I'm just going to season that appropriately. I substituted some different vegetables as well and just made do with what was at the budget grocer. Now, the good news is, is that by going to Hornings, uh, I actually only spent $63. And I got not only enough for all of my meal prepping for the week, but also for future meal prepping and some backpacking supplies as well. So that's pretty stinking cool. The first thing that we're going to do is we're gonna get started on the quinoa because this can actually cook while we're doing the rest of our prep work here. So when you're making this, it's actually going to be one cup of the quinoa and it's gonna be two cups of water. You allow that to come to a boil and then we're gonna let that simmer for 15 minutes and boom, we have one of the best grains to support our growing temples. So I'm gonna get started on this and I'm gonna show you how I actually supplement in chicken broth for a lot of the water because I like flavor. So these are tricks on how you can take a pretty bland grain and you can turn it into something delicious by just using broth instead of water. While you're at your stove, preheat your oven to 400 degrees so that we can bake the Brussels sprouts As and I the sweet had potatoes. Said, we are actually going to bring the quinoa to a boil here. So it is going to be two cups of quinoa, two cups, and then we are going to substitute chicken broth, which was only 69 cents, by the way. So the quinoa and the chicken broth were a dollar 68 combined to make really a ton of food. So there's two cups, four cups. I'm going to turn the burner to high and let that puppy come to a boil. I set the oven for 400 degrees and it is currently preheating because we are going to bake our Brussels sprouts and our sweet potatoes together. And again, those can bake while we do the rest of the preparing for our meal prep. Boom! I think the first thing that I'm going to do is get my sweet potatoes and my Brussels sprouts prepared. Cut all of your sweet potatoes in half. I'm gonna keep my Brussels sprouts whole. Beautiful. And now we're going to take some olive oil here. I got this also at Hornings today for like 99 cents and it's super high end olive oil. It does actually make a little bit of a difference with olive oil, but let's be real, I'm pretty cheap. If I can't find the fancy stuff, I'll get whatever. We're just going to drizzle this over top of our sweet potatoes here. And we're also going to do the same thing with our Brussels sprouts. I'm going to take my fingers and I am going to rub this olive oil all over the top of my sweet potatoes. And I'm going to just make sure that all of my Brussels sprouts are fully coated here. I'm going to grind some salt onto my vegetables to grind some pepper over top of these. I think that Brussels sprouts also taste good with just a little bit of garlic powder. I actually found these at the Dollar Tree. So you can get seasonings for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. 
I'm gonna call my moments curly moments because my hair isn't really blonde, but I almost forgot a key step when you're doing baked potatoes on a baking sheet in the oven, is that you want to prick the whole outside of the potato. This is going to allow that heat to get into the middle. Since these are so high in starch, they take a lot longer to cook. But by doing this, you break down that cook time a bit. Sweet potatoes are so good for you. It's that easy, folks. And super delicious and very healthy. Our vegetables are prepped. Let's throw these into our preheated oven. And let's set the timer for 20 minutes. That is so beautiful. I love colorful food. And 20 minutes, set. Next, we're going to slice our sausage so that we can get that cooking. Then we can start prepping our other vegetables. Look at the name of the company, Stoltzfus. I'm a Stoltz. I thought this was funny. And we are just going to cut these into rounds. Turn that to a medium high. I'm going to put a tablespoon of olive oil in here, but I'm just going to eyeball it. Let that warm up for a couple minutes here before we throw the sausage in. While I'm standing here, the coffee actually came to a boil, as you can see. So I am going to throw a lid on here, reduce the heat down to a four, and let that simmer for 15 minutes. Could it get any better than that? Boom. We're gonna take our sausage here and we're gonna throw it right into our pan. These are the vegetables that we're going to be adding to our sausage dish. So we need to get these cut up. I'm gonna start with my zucchini squash. Now we slice up the peppers. Yum. And we can't forget the onion. Come on, oh, the flavor. Now we're going to take our vegetables and we're going to throw them into a bowl. I'm going to put about a tablespoon of this olive oil on them. Looks good. Going to throw some salt on these. I'm going to put paprika on them. Some Cajun seasoning. Some cayenne pepper. Just a little bit. And I'm going to mix it up. Sometimes it's just better to use your hands. That is so pretty. Ooh, I almost forgot. I actually wanted to throw corn into here because I think that that would be a great added flavor and color profile in this dish. I'm not gonna put this whole bag in here. I think that's good. Beautiful. That's ready. Let's see if the sausage is done. Ooh, sausage looks so good. And cook. So I am going to take this out of the skillet, set it aside, and we're gonna throw the vegetables in. You wanna make sure that you're using a slotted spoon for this so that you're not bringing the oil with you. And we're just gonna set it aside. Mm. 
The sweet potatoes and Brussels sprouts have been baking for 20 minutes. And I'm just gonna come in here and toss these Brussels sprouts around. Ooh, it's smelling delicious. I'm going to flip these like this. I'm going to set the timer for 15 minutes since we just turned our potatoes and Brussels sprouts. Boom. So I'm going to keep a lid on that here and we will add it to our power bowls and our Cajun sausage and vegetables. Mix up my vegetables here, make sure that they're cooking and let's season our pork chops. We'd like to have some oil warmed up for when those are seasoned. Mm, that looks good. Let's season our pork chops. I'm going to use this same exact bowl as what I used to toss my vegetables. This isn't gonna hurt anything. We have some similar flavor profiles for our chops. So I am going to throw these pork chops right into here. I'm going to use seasoned salt on these and I'm gonna put a pretty good amount of seasoned salt. This right here is my secret weapon. If you don't know, now you know. Tastefully Simple makes this. It is delicious. We're going to add paprika. And I'm gonna throw a little Cajun seasoning on there because I like it. A little bit of salt and some pepper. And I'm gonna toss these puppies up. We're gonna throw this into our hot skillet. Our skillet and our oil is heated and I am going to throw my chops right onto here. And we watch these cook. I will keep my pork chops on here for about 10 minutes and then flip them once they're brown. And our vegetables have a little bit until they're fully softened. Although I do not take these all the way to cook because these are meal prep items, so... We can leave them a little bit stiff because they will cook again in the microwave. And now we can build. So the first one that's done is our Cajun veggie sausage. And I am going to put a base down. So I'm gonna put down a bed of this grain here. And I made a double of the quinoa so that I have enough for the power bowls and for this dish. I threw the sausage into our veggie mix that was on the stove. And we're gonna mix that together here. And we're gonna throw this right over quinoa. Look how beautiful that is. And extremely nutritious. These chops look amazing. And the vegetable portion of our veggie and chops. Wow. Those look excellent. Veggies are done. Potatoes are soft. Brussels sprouts are browned perfectly, I might add and our pork chops look phenomenal. So let's build our meal prep. I'm not gonna lie, I made extra sweet potatoes because the dogs love them too. So they'll have them as a snack this week. Yum. Now that these are all set up, we can add butter to our sweet potatoes. And I'm just going to put a very small pad of butter 
on all three of these. I wiped out the pan that we used for the sausage and the vegetables. I threw a little bit of olive oil in there and some minced garlic. I'm going to turn that burner back on and get that garlic smelling delicious and that oil heated up. And we're gonna throw our spinach right into this pan and saute it for a couple of minutes so that we can add that to our power bowls. Mm. Our oil is heated up and I'm going to throw in our baby spinach here. It recommends six cups. I'm just gonna throw in as much as I want. It wilts down really low, so you can always add more of this as you go as well. Spinach is pretty amazing, as this was overflowing. This is what it cooks down to. In case you've never sauteed spinach before, this is what to expect. Don't be scared to fill it to the top. But this will be enough for what we need it for. And we can build our bowls. Boom. Everything is ready and we can build our spinach and white bean power bowls and they are powerful. I made this in a little bit of a different variation because of what I had on hand, but we are going to divvy up our quinoa here. Now this recipe, like I said, it originally requested using a long grain wheat rice and this is actually a better grain for you. So I'm just going to use up the remainder of this grain here as the base to our bowl. That looks even. Awesome. And now we are going to take our sauteed spinach and I'm going to divvy this up in four portions as well. I personally like beautiful food also, so you don't have to be like this, but I think it will look pretty if we layer this accordingly. Beautiful. We're going to take our white beans and I'm gonna, I did rinse these and then drain them already. Put a row of these in here. I guess you can see why it's called a power bowl because we have tons of nutrients packed in this. This recipe recommended that we use feta cheese, but there was garlic and dill cheese curds there. And I thought, you know what? The rest of these recipes are super healthy and so is the power bowl. So I am going to use Cheese curds, why? Because cheese curds are delicious, that's why. And I'm going to just break these cheese curds up to go all over the bowl. Yum. I'm gonna add raisins. This does not have raisins in the recipe, but I thought they would be delicious on here. Add a little bit of a different texture and a little bit of a different flavor and raisins are good for you. It asked for walnuts. I thought I had walnuts here at the house. I don't, but I do have peanuts. So I'm gonna put peanuts on each of these as well. Can't ever complain about the extra protein from them either. And I'm just letting the salt fall because Honestly, there's really not any other seasoning on these bowls. Beautiful. Well, we did it. 
meal prep accomplished. The next four days, I will be eating like an absolute champion. In fact, this might even last me five days, five complete days for under, um, oh, you know, like $21, five days of eating. Today we made pork chops, Brussels sprouts, and sweet potatoes. We made Cajun sausage and vegetable quinoa, and we made quinoa, spinach, and white bean power bowls. Yum e enjoy, and your body deserves it. Oh, I almost forgot. When you're reheating your power bowls, you are going to take a tablespoon of your balsamic vinaigrette and dash it on top. Yum. Have a phenomenal week. Let me know what you want to learn next. I'm always here to help. And don't forget, support your girl and subscribe. Boom. Meal prep complete.